I'm Daniel Nell and um, this video is not about music. Um, this is really just a, something that I've realized uh, working professionally in the creative industry for uh, 21 years now is that you need a different creative outlet than the commercial creativity that you apply every day. Um, I, um, I studied photography and all that, but the reality is early on in my career and as a youngster, uh, photography was my creative outlet. Yeah, I had some other creative pursuits, i.e. music as well, but the, the primary creative outlet in my life was definitely photography. However, if you work in a commercial market like I do and sort of in the um, tier of work that I do, there's not always a huge amount of creativity. It's often problem solving and um, it's less about creating beautiful things than it is to create functionally um, beautiful things. And um, a lot of that is problem solving in my in my experience. So, um, and it's not, I mean, I, as part of my work, I generally create images that I don't really want to put up on my wall. It, they, they're beautiful in context. And um, as, a, as a commercial creative, you might have the same. You might have been an uh, avid writer and now you find yourself writing professionally and now that you're suddenly writing to meet briefs, uh, it's a different experience. But I believe everyone is a creative, but especially as yourself who is, ma is making a living out of being creative, I think it is very, very, very important that you have a creative pursuit other than your main professional um, career. Now for some creatives, photographers, um, they, they choose to do art photography. They have their own personal projects and I have only lately again started doing that and I'm really glad because it does fire up my creativity and my passion for what I do. Uh, also you can try things, you learn things and I've started printing up my own images again um, and starting to put them up in my house which is sort of reigniting the passion that I have for, for my trade. But I also think it's very important to have a different creative pursuit because um, the one informs the other, one feeds into the other. I'm a musician, uh, very enthusiastic, not necessarily that good. Uh, but I mean, I write music, I record music, I release it. Um, you know, I, you know, you can go to my YouTube channel that I'll link below. Um, I have a project called Vortex Afternoon, which is basically all my music projects. And I live out my wildest rock star dreams there without the pressure of having to succeed at anything. I think I might have three listeners a month on Spotify or something to that effect. And that's completely fine because the joy of that is not in the return, but it's actually in the creation of it. And um, even in just learning audio production and sound engineering, it has informed my skills in sound engineering and videography so much about treating rooms, about you know um, setting up microphones and things like that. And that's simply from you know doing something that I like after hours. And so, whether it be writing, painting, uh, and don't discount sport. Uh, sport is, can also be a creative pursuit. Um, I I'm a very enthusiastic, if not very good. Uh, jiu-jitsu practitioner um, and there is definitely creativity in in something like that you know there's the old saying all work and no play makes jack a dull boy and i think that's 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 true and especially for us creators well if you like this video please uh, press the like button uh, subscribe and um, yeah i'd love to see you again next time cheers